how do you take a priority like investing in in GitOps to solve some of the problems I referred to before? Sound sexy, exciting, and like something you can rally towards as a company, um, and ultimately assure our stakeholders that um, it's a good idea to spend time on that. Well, maybe let's start with a problem uh, and um, explain why it's important for Playo as a company. Again, in business slide here, I apologize, uh, but how could you package something like an infrastructure project and turn it into something that you could actually rally towards as a company? Well, here's an example, how, and what we expect, by the way, of our product teams to do. So, business context. We're shipping too many bucks to production, which causes a subpar customer experience, and that in turn increases the likelihood of a lower net promoter score, higher churn, and lower revenue. On top of that, because we have a limited test environment, our sales and customer success colleagues use an inferior environment to demo our product to customers, which in turn reduces our ability to close deals and grow revenue, and so on and so forth. Ultimately, solving these problems is extremely important for our business and organization. So with just a few words, you've taken something that to most people would be extremely unexciting, like an infrastructure project, and turned it into something that is extremely exciting for people in sales, customer success, for our C-suite, and we expect all of our product people to be able to communicate their priorities, priorities in this way. Uh, so as an example, as an engineer, we'll give you a brand new test, test environment, where you can test your, your code before you ship, ship to production, making you happier at work, you ship fewer bugs, blah, 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 blah. As a sales rep, you know, you get a great demo environment where you can show your prospects the latest version of our product, da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da -ga, all these different things. We expect you get to get higher closing rates and so on and so forth. As a CRO, all of a sudden, you should start to see um, an increase in revenue due to higher customer conversion rates and so on and so forth. As a CTO, you'll start to see a big drop in change failure rate, meaning fewer bucks and instance created, and so on and so forth. And just like that, we expect our product people to take their prioritization, whether it has to do with infrastructure projects or not, and tailor it to the, the, the company in, in such a way. Uh, 